If you want to live here, you've got to deliver. Like Steve. Jobs or Wozniak? Steve Jobs or Steve... No, I heard one. you. Which one? Jobs. Jobs was a poser. He didn't even write code. <laughs> Silicon Valley is the cradle of innovation. Your compression algorithm blew our engineering team away. We have the resources to take what you have done to the global level. I'm prepared to give you $200,000. $600,000 for 10% of your company. $10 million. We had a guy in here in almost the exact same situation. Take the money or keep the company. He shot himself because he turned down the money? Yeah. Or no, no he took the money. Or no. No, he did not. I don't, you know what? I don't remember. But whatever it was, he regretted it so much that he ended up shooting himself, and now he's blind. For thousands of years, guys like us have gotten the shit kicked out of us. Keep running! What if we built our own company? Uh, ultimately, what we're trying to do is, uh, well, I guess... <laughs> you remind me of my son. He's got Asperger's, too. Oh, oh no, I don't... What do you guys do here? What do we do? All those ones and zeros streaming directly to your shitty little smartphone. Every dipshit who shits his pants if he can't get Skrillex in under 12 seconds. It's not magic, it's talent and sweat. That's what we do. Money. That which separates the haves from the have-nots. Patience. Frugality. Sacrifice. Deciding to invest in your family's future and taking responsibility for the consequences of those actions. Mr. Bird? Hello. Trevor Evans, FBI. FBI? What's yeah. going on? We believe your husband's partner was murdered. What? Let's all stop playing this game, shall we? The lying, the running. Aren't you both tired? We made a choice to move our family to a more peaceful place. Mom, what are we doing here? Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Marty, where's my five million dollars? Someone's going to die. Relax. Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Marty! We're gonna kill your family. We'll be done with all this madness. Jesus, Marty, he knows the kids' names. Last chance for witness protection. This is just another betrayal, isn't it? How long have you been planning this? You have walled me out. Money is, at its essence, that measure of a man's choices. What'd you do today for our family? your reputation. And how many battles you have won. But still, you have no idea what you are now facing. People of Kattegat! I am but your humble servant. You are a great man, but even great men make mistakes. Just makes me glad I'm not king. I've seen enough of war. I've seen enough of death. It is time to elect a king who will defend us. A king for all Norway. And what better man than you, your hindsight? I hope that things will proceed smoothly. Do you know any reason why it should not? I have decided to treat your arrival here as a sign. Ivor, the boneless. I have ordered construction of a great fleet for the invasion of Scandinavia. And you can help me. And be revenged upon your brothers. The Rus are coming. Our country's in grave danger. 
Don't ever betray me. I'll get here to my dog, is I want to search for Floki. You can search all you want. You won't find him. Light the fire! Seems the gods brought us together again, my brother. You must enjoy seeing us fight. I want you to remember something, okay? I will always love you because we're the same. The serial killer known as the Surgeon may finally be behind bars. The NYPD has arrested Dr. Martin Whitley in connection with at least 23 murders. Why did you kill all those people? We can figure it out. Together. Yo, what are you doing here? I need a profiler. Come on. You know the FBI fired me, right? Good thing I'm NYPD. Maybe let's not mention that you're dead to serial killer. My lips are sealed. What is it? There'll be an injection point in her iliac crest. How the hell do you know that? Killer's a copycat. He's mimicking another serial killer. Surgeon. You know all about the surgeon guy. Almost like he's family. Mother, it is lovely to see you. What are you not telling me? He's working for the NYPD on the new serial killer investigation. I have moved on from your father. Why can't you? Turns out I want to wake up any old demons, but I had to be certain that he was copying your dad. Don't worry, my demons don't sleep. You spoken to him? Not in 10 years. Malcolm, my boy. You have a copycat. Really? Well, I'm flattered and deeply concerned. Your father would love this. You trying to solve his murders. He will destroy you. It's a bomb, and he's locked. You're on edge. Got it under control. You chopped off a man's hand. Are you okay? I gotta give them a hand. I thought I was afraid of my father. But really? I was afraid of myself. His prodigal son. Did you orchestrate all of this to get me back? There's so much more I can teach you about murder. Maybe we can solve a few together. Goodbye, Dr. Whitley. My boy. I want this. I'll give you eight bucks for it. No way. The tag says 12. Nine bucks. And I'll give you some free business advice. Deal. So, what's the advice? This is an original 1970s East-West calfskin motorcycle jacket in perfect condition. Know what your shit's worth? Because you just got played. So what exactly is your business? You know how people flip houses? Well, I flip clothes. Boom! Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Damn. Unless you want the HPV, you better close them legs, girl. This shit is everywhere. It's in the walls. I can, like, live doing this forever. I never have to get another job again. Good. Those shoes are ridiculous. I don't know why, but I like you. Maybe you should, uh, pick up a couple Red Bulls and some Band-Aids, cause I'm gonna f Your generation is so fucked up. Low overhead, steady demand, high margins? You're killing it. Once you lose eBay's trust, it holds a grudge. I think the best thing for you would be to move back home so I can keep an eye on you. No way. I am not selling stuffed animals out of my bedroom. I'll start my own site. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but it'll be mine. That. It's a telethon thermometer. It strongly resembles a penis. <laughs> well, we are at half chub now. We sold up! O M F.
F-T. Sorry, typo. I meant, oh my fucking God. Go ahead. Underestimate me. I've got it all. Pewna bardzo miła kobietka z Eastside chce, żebyście roznieśli drapieżnych drani. Ale musicie sprzątnąć najgroźniejszego gangstera w Detroit. Nie zabijamy ludzi. No to zaczniecie. Nowy serial w klimacie filmów Quentina Tarantino. Odwet. Tylko w Kanal Plus Premium. I want you two to get good rest. What if I have a bad dream? Well, I'm sure we can handle any dream you have. What if I dream that you sent us away into the dark and we get hurt? Really hurt? And what if I'm so sad and scared of the dark out there that I put poison in me? For years and years, until my blood turns into poison. And my heart breaks right in half, and I can't feel anything happy. Until <laughs> I can't stand it anymore, and I, I have to die. Until I'm on a silver table. It's my jaw wired shut. Why? <laughs> It would help if we could decide here and now on your name. My name? Yes, ma'am. Your regnal name. Uh, that is the name you will take as queen. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. My name is Elizabeth. And long live Queen Elizabeth. Don't you get sick of it all? And lonely. I do. Which is why it's so important to have the right person by your side. You understand the titles, they're not the job. She is the job. Loving her. Protecting her. She is the essence of your duty. We have a new sovereign, young, and a woman. I'll support it out from there. No, sir, if you don't mind, the crown takes precedence. You don't think I would have preferred to grow up out of the spotlight? Away from the scrutiny and the visibility. This firm just lay down the law. I know he's Winston Churchill and all that, but remember who you are. You're Nobody. the Queen of England. This new Elizabethan age comes at a time when mankind stands on the edge of catastrophe. 
you my wife or my queen? I am both, and a strong man will be able to kneel to both. I will not kneel before my wife. Your wife is not asking you to. But my queen commands me. Yes. I beg you make an exception for me. No. What kind of marriage is this? What kind of family? I need to speak to my sister. No! I am aware that I'm surrounded by people who feel that they could do the job better. Strong people with powerful characters. But for better or worse, the crown has landed on my head. I have seen three great monarchies brought down through their failure to separate personal indulgences from duty. You must not allow yourself to make similar mistakes. The crown must win. Must always win. I know this is hard, but I need to ask you some questions about what happened. He tied my hands. He said if I screamed, he'd kill me. No signs of forced entry. Doors and windows were locked. No DNA. Not a single neighbor saw or heard a thing. He brought a blindfold, but nothing to tie her with. Would a shoelace even hold her? You think Marie made up the attack? I'm pretty positive that it happened. Pretty positive or positive? They just kept asking me the same question. How come your story doesn't add up? I wanted to go home. I don't have a victim here. It's bogus. She made it up. We're on the scene of a violent attack. Police say a masked assailant broke in while the victim was sleeping. He said, you need to be more protective of yourself. Black mask, bindings, early morning attacks. I think he's done this before. Aurora, 18 months ago. Intruder, black mask, backpack, tied her up, took photos. To date, has not been caught. You see the pattern. There's a wraith, new evidence, new leads, and then one by one, they dry up until he hits again. This one, we're figuring out on our own. What if he knows stations don't talk to each other? As long as he only hits once in each town. You could have detectives from eight different departments investigating eight identical rapes with no clue. They're all chasing the same guy. Victims are all over the map, old, young, different races, so he doesn't have a type. Sure he does, women who live alone. This guy is out there, preying on the most vulnerable women he can find. Where is the outrage? This is not something people get over. This is something they carry with them forever. Even with people that you can trust, if the truth is inconvenient, they don't believe it. Once upon a time, there were three sisters. Why is he here? You want us to leave? It's 1999. It's almost a new millennium since. I've never been outside. Ah, get up! Why did you help me in the bar that night? What was I supposed to do? I had to get involved. It is what it is, I guess. You know, it's almost like you were happy for the excuse. Who are those people? I don't know. I think you're hiding something. They killed everybody that I've ever cared about. How do you think that feels? Trust me, I know. A friend of mine betrayed me. I 
dreamed about the Punisher every night. He thinks that he has the right to judge me. I want him to feel what I felt. We have a mutual acquaintance. I'm gonna cast on the girl. Billy Russo's back. And he has an army. Frank, people are gonna die. I'm gonna end it. What if Billy kills you? I'm not the one who dies, kid. I'm the one who does the killing. Some serious issues. Let me be what I'm meant to be. Give me some to eat. I'll need some money. Not suspicious at all. It's the part of you that no one can see. But you know it's there, and I do too. That's the part of you that no one can take away. Because that's the part of you that's really you. You see, the stuff I like about you isn't the stuff on the outside. What I like about you is the other stuff. The inside stuff. Smiles are a little gift we give each other. That's the most beautiful part of yourself. She left you because you're a pussy. Please don't use a bad word when you can use a good word. Every pain needs a name. What do we think this one is called? Are you sleep? Are you sleep? You are not a real are person. You are a man in the box. You're a trusted brand. No one sees a man. I feel something new today. Something's growing inside me. Our next guest raised your son, your daughter, your stepdaughter from his couch in Columbus, Ohio. Please help me welcome Mr. Jeff Pickle!